Hi there, I'm Kelsey, and thank you for watching our GCP Mindset channel. Today, we will talk about a very important type of company in the clinical trial world called a CRO. More after the intro. CRO stands for Clinical Research Organization or Contract Research Organization. CROs are contracted by pharmaceutical, biotech, and or medical device companies in order to help bring medicinal products or medical devices to the market, either as a full service or they just take over parts of the clinical trial, for example, the monitoring of the trial sites. According to GCP Network, a sponsor may transfer any or all of the sponsor's trial-related duties and functions to a CRO, but the ultimate responsibility for the quality and integrity of the trial data always resides with the sponsor. The CRO should implement quality assurance and quality control. Any trial-related duty and function that is transferred to and assumed by a CRO should be specified in writing. CROs provide services like project management, regulatory and ethics committee submissions, clinical monitoring, both on-site and remote, document management, trial master file management, data management, statistics, electronic data capture via electronic case report forms, randomization tools, patient reported outcome tools, safety reporting, medical writing, consulting, certification trainings, and legal representation in the EU. CROs can provide one or all of these services depending on its size, specialty, and location. The size of a CRO can range from one individual to thousands, from a home office to skyscrapers filled with cubicles. A CRO could be too small to handle thousands of sites, but can focus on a few services to specific smaller clients, and vice versa. Small studies can get lost in big CRO corporations and seem too impersonal. It's important a sponsor picks the right CRO for them and their study goals. I would even argue it's just as important for the CRO to pick the right sponsor. Great study outcomes produce great products that enhance all of our lives. For example, I work in a mid-size CRO with our headquarters here in Germany. In regards to specializations, the CRO I work for provides full service to pharmaceutical, biotech, and medical device companies. We can provide mid-size niche services, for example, if the sponsor decides to have trial sites in Germany, Poland, the Netherlands, or the Czech Republic that require on-site monitoring or regulatory and ethics committee submissions in the local language, we can offer this. If a sponsor wants different European countries involved, we work within our network of CROs and can make this happen as well. That brings us to the location of a CRO. This can also be an important factor depending on where the study will have trial sites like I mentioned. However, with the world that is more and more online, more and more remote services can be offered, no matter where the sponsor's office and the CRO's office are located. This creates an efficient and cost-effective hybrid approach to get products to market safely and quickly. This doesn't mean the CRO is responsible for the study once a contract is signed. Like I've mentioned in our other videos, the sponsor is always responsible for the quality and integrity of the study, no matter who it outsources these tasks to. I hope you enjoyed the brief introduction to clinical research organizations. Remember, it's all about mindset, GCP mindset. Hey there, don't forget, like and subscribe, but most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.